Welcome to a new video uh, on my walking robot NIFT 2 based on uh, Physitechnik TXT controller uh, which runs embedded Linux and is programmed for this project in Python. Insect to it, um, which means it has six legs and on each side the legs are connect interconnected. Usually it runs on a battery. Um, but uh, for um, project sake and um, for testing I run now on power adapter right here. There are a few problems but let me introduce um, the robot first. Ronson Linux um, has two front sensors and a USB camera and USB camera is uh, working via OpenCV which is embedded in the uh, customer um, in the community, I should say, not customer, community firmware um, it grabs images, sends it over via SSH um, to a computer and from there you can um, uh, use the images for whatever purpose. In my program I um, try to single out the color red and then um, make it look like um, going towards that color. Unfortunately uh, that doesn't work as well as it did in the past and my focus is then first focus is to get that back then recently I made a complete reconstruction um, to make it stronger because two um, encoder motors uh, didn't seem to have enough power together to make it run so now it has four encoder motors uh, which means two for this side and two for that side and recent experiments have shown that that doesn't work nicely enough there is some issue with um, with the gear here and here so um, in the past I have modeled it prior to the uh, major reconstruction but it didn't seem to work out quite as well so I'm again remodeling it so that's the second part now I have already started the controller the question is do I have contact that's always the question so uh, before I can do anything I need to log on and see whatever works so let's go to the software side and have a look at how this works out. Software side. Um, two terminals, one for the code and one for output. But uh, prior to that I have to try to make contact and once again, it doesn't want to make contact. Uh, that means that the Wi-Fi isn't working properly for some reason, so I have to reboot it. So, um, let me do that for now uh, with a bit close up. I have to move the camera a bit. So, I hope this is a nicer view. Let's move this a bit. I hope you can see it. So, this goes off. And next thing is booting. Good. 
this goes into community program and once this is done I can try to make it work completely load it and this is then the community interface which I can't use now I can use it so let's uh, try again yes now I can make contact acknowledge and now I'm in that means that with the second terminal I can go in as well yes so this is nice and let's move um, back to the original position stabilizing the camera a bit and a bit more light the only thing that I have to do now is um, set the date again and it is 12 right that's nice although it's a minute uh, behind but I don't mind I don't care then prior to starting let me start um, source code and let's see I have to clean up a bit gone All right that's better so Um, let's run and then uh, see for the uh, HSV cars because this tool shows that uh, that it should work but it doesn't and you will hear the rattling because I still haven't managed to find the place where the gears are not functioning correctly Uh, let's go well uh, prior to running the code I decided to find some uh, more information about uh, HSV UE saturation and value um, in combination with OpenCV which I'm using OpenCV and it turns out that well low red upper red as I've called it and they are the upper range and the lower range upper range lower range for the measured value I have taken the picture from last time and um, now uh, it seems to be possible to uh, use a nice lower range but in order to do that you have to measure so incoming is this one what is the real value for that um, and that is a tricky part because I also have used dark table in the past let's do it again Oh, and that doesn't really matter but let's just do it and then I have to load it because I have to measure a color not just any color just the color import image where uh, this one go and this is the image so 
right now I have to snap it I have to probe it color picker that is yep and this is the color that I have or maybe right here that's nice so I'm taking the color picker and this is 172 44 71 but this is yeah RGB and it doesn't matter because I have RGB here and um, so 175 something 44 and 71 well I don't care about the 71 uh, this looks like about it so then I have the values UV saturation and value 170, 193 and 174 175 and then the theory is that the lower, uh, lower range is UE minus 10 saturation minus 40 and value minus 40 if that's going to, to be correct I'll have to wait uh, upper would be UE plus so that would be 180 then plus 40 for saturation would be 233 and a value um, would be 204 215 yep question is will that work out well I can only uh, find out by trying so This is the lower red. Uh, let me just comment this one out. Take this one and say, all right, this will be 160. The point is now, is that indeed a value? So UV 160, which is kind of red, kind of red, because this is really red, as is this. So, I am wondering. Anyway, let's take just 160. Going to saturation would be 153. And 135. Uh, 135 then um, let's comment this one out what am I doing uh, comment out this one upper red being then although this is really into red upper should be then 180 I have my doubts 180 yeah well 180 is maximum value red so I'd rather make that 179 but who knows let's, uh, let's stick to the values that I've calculated 180 233 don't mistype and 215 all right and now I will have to run it so I'm closing this one um, 
um, did already save it, yes, certainly by now, and um, let's see how this works out. And run it, and we will soon see if there is any difference. And I will be ready to interrupt if the grinding of the gears begins. Yep, that's take done. Yeah, it is grinding a lot, but I need pictures. Okay, thank you. So, that is for today's picture. Go. Yeah, okay, looks nice. And then, no. I need the result. Well, um, at least the yellow is completely gone. The yellow is gone. Okay, let me... Uh, so this is the new picture. And this is from last time. And never mind uh, the orientation of the objects, but mind the colors. So in that respect, it is better. But satisfied? No. Because I want to see all this red as well. This is red, yes. This is red, yes. This as well. I'm missing out this one. So, what to do? Good question. But, oh yeah, some progress. And then, because of the grinding, let's go to modeling. And in Blender, I started introducing uh, real gears last time, instead of using wheels. And finding the possibility of uh, animation, simulation, one, one is correct and one center somewhere here. So I have to find a way to reposition this. And that should be the way. So more repositioning. And this should work out, but I'm afraid it won't. So let's play it again. And then you can see that this gear is running and this gear is running. This is correct, this isn't. So, um, what to do about it? Well, I'm going to delete this one. Yep. Then next is um, I need a similar gear like this one. Um, duplicate. And there you have it. Then rotate a bit. Uh, Move and this is not nice that I can only rotate it in this way. Shift a bit. Is this correct? Not quite. So does this rotate? Well, not right yet. Um, 
I need to make a rotation here of minus 7 uh, 20 and then location rotation and then let's see if this one works together as I had hoped, not that I had intended. So, seven twenty, that is correct. Uh, this one is minus, should be minus seven twenty. rotation and animate again so why does it move This does not make sense either. It does seem to move in two separate ways. But why do move? So, while this is a nice idea, I have some questions. Yeah. But let's um, because which gears are supposed to be running together actually this one with this one and so this whole situation is not modeled correctly this one is and if you look at this one it is even uh, worse so this one should actually be here. No, nope. you go back. And if I look at the other parts, then I need this one to be here as well. So let's select this one, duplicate. And move over here then then this one move over there That's better. And further, this one will be right there. Whereas this one should be there. And this one, of course, as well. Now they are connected as they should, kind of. So, where these two come in is here, 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 and here. Although, where is that gear from here? Um, 
okay I miss a part here but anyway one two three four and not to forget five gears here and five gears here so that will be a challenge and you see a little difference uh, first of all I have duplicated the running wheels um, to match with these wheels however um, since these gears are in matrix the way they are really um, it's not matching with these wheels gears don't match wheels and how I'm going to solve that well that is still a problem but let's animate and see how this ends up and I'm very curious to watch this oh no kidding Um, where have my wheels gone? Oh, that is a nice one. And I just pressed Ctrl Z to restore the previous setting. So this means that I have to set them all for these gears. And this is, uh, and now I have to really look at what I do. Uh, no, stay where you are. So, where's the gears? That's a nine. Oh wait, gear two. Yeah, gear nine. Seven, eight. Okay. This means that I have to put the rotation and the rotation location for each one of those gears. And time is running out. So that will be something I have to try out next time and uh, please uh, note for that gear minus 532 degrees rotation uh, an X is this one oh wait I may have to set the rotation to zero and this to zero as well but I will have to find that because uh, I thought it was location, but this is location, which is by the way ma uh, minus a half a meter under uh, this um, base area, as you can see. So I'm going to solve it. That's a good question. And this is a nicer view of the camera, of the robot. And let me, um, for ending, give this view. So you see the red gear now in center, which is straight below the middle uh, big gear. And here's another one straight under or yeah let's say straight under the hind gear so 
If that's the real stuff, um, let's take a look. This is almost correct, and this is not really correct. So this should be more here, so this should be somewhere else. But it can't be very far from the truth. So once again, save. And um, that's it. So that's it for now. Um, some improvement on the HSV OpenCV um, area and some changes in Blender with modeling. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and give the video a thumbs up. Leave a comment or suggestion, always appreciated. Um, you can also follow me via Instagram and Twitter. Please. Um, Show your appreciation by making a donation via either PayPal or Wired. And Wired is um, better in uh, Europe. And uh, you can also show your appreciation by becoming a patron. And depending on the pledge you make, may have your name mentioned on my website and with my videos. This is obviously going to be continued. More information about website, etc under this video. For now, have a nice day and bye bye.